This is Dr. Carroll. This video is a continuation of the graph series about graph applications. So I want you to imagine you've just landed a great consulting job for a railroad company that wants to list the shortest um, or cheapest or fastest path from each of its cities to every other city that it services. How are you going to do that? Well, the answer would be shortest path. You want to calculate the shortest path. So as a visual here, let's imagine you had all these, these cities and you had these paths between these cities and you wanted to calculate the either the shortest path, the most fuel efficient, the, the fastest time, de depending on who you're presenting for, the user, the, uh, the executives, or, or who it is. But you could imagine pr producing that. Well, the route, the cities are going to be vertices. And the routes are then going to be edges. And now we have a graph problem. It just looks like a map, but it's a graph problem. And so then the problem we're trying to uh, explicitly address here is the sum of the edge weights, in the shortest path, we're going to call a length or a weight or a cost. Okay. So there, there's our problem set up. Now, how are we going to do this? We're going to use Dijkstra's algorithm. Uh, and what Dijkstra's algorithm does is it finds the shortest path between a vertex zero, an initial vertex, and all other vertices. At least that's the, the version that I'm going to be presenting here. And so Dijkstra's algorithm uses two data structures. It uses a set. We're going to call that the vertex set. It also uses an array, and we'll call that weights. And so weights um, index v that's the shortest, or you could think cheapest, or fastest path from our initial vertex v, 0 to V. And it passes through the vertices in the vertex set. Okay, So it might not be the shortest path as we're calculating, but it's always the shortest path for that go through the vertices in the vertex set. Okay, So let, let's set it up. And this may be a little bit different than how you, it's been presented in other classes. Okay. Um, and I, I want to point out that the path ends uh, with an edge from a vertex that is in the vertex set. Um, now, V here may or may not be in the vertex set, but it is the, the cheapest path to that if there is a path that does exist through the vertex set. So to initialize it, we put um, the zeroth node in the vertex set. And then we initialize all of the weights according to the first um, the first row, the, well, the row with uh, vertex zero from the adjacency matrix. Um, and we, we just copy all those in for the, for the entire, uh, for all V in the graph. Okay? And it's, and we initialize this because Vertex zero is the only vertex in the vertex set. And so then it's just the pass from vertex zero to all the other vertices. Okay. So now that's initialization step. Now let's do steps two through n. Okay. So we add a vertex with the smallest or shortest or cheapest path that is not in the vertex set. Okay. And then we update the path cost for all vertices that are not in the vertex set. Uh, we don't have to worry about the ones that are already in the vertex set because, um, uh, sorry, we need to update all paths that are going to be involved by adding this one to the vertex set. So here's some code. Um, Dijkstra's shortest path on a graph G, and we're operating on an array that's an adjacency matrix, so it's a two-dimensional array. Okay, so the first step is to initialize. And so we're going to make our vertex set, and we're going to, um, it's a set, and then we're going to add zero to the vertex set. And then um, we're going to keep track of how many vertices there are in G so that we can iterate through them. Okay, so we we're going to go 0 through n minus 1, because that's how many times we know we need to go through it. And then we're going to initialize the weights here from, if we're at vertex 0, 
how expensive, what's the cost of the path to all the other ones, okay? Now let's do the, the other steps, uh, two through n, okay? So now, steps two through n, we're gonna find the smallest weight in, um, we're gonna find this, this the, the cheapest edge for where the end is a vertex that's not in the vertex set, okay? And then we're gonna add that vertex to the vertex set, and then we're gonna update all the weights, okay? And we're gonna go through and, and update them. And what this says is that if our current path cost from zero to U is more than the path cost from zero to V, plus the edge from V to U, then update the path cost from zero to U. And here's the update right here. Okay, let's see an example. So here we have a vertex set and we've initialized it with A because we're gonna start with A. And we're gonna, uh, and these are the weights, the, the weight um, array here. And it, and what that, the way you can read that is from vertex A to all other vertices, okay? Uh, if you need to take a moment to pause the video to, to read this in and, and capture it, go ahead. That's the beauty of a video, okay? So now we need to be careful that we put infinity where there's no path, right? Because you can't use zero because then that would be a really cheap path. And you can't use negative. That's even cheaper path, okay? So we need to make sure we use infinity. So now, now we've properly initialized our, um, our, our set and our array. So now what we do is we, we find that 10 is the cheapest edge in our weights. And so we're going to add B to our vertex set. So right now we have A, and then now we've included B. Okay. And now we need to update the weights, uh, the, the path costs and weights. We'll see, we can now get to C through B, going like this. So now we have a path from A to C. Before it's infinity, and now it's not. And now we looked for the lowest edge cost that involves a, a vertex that's not in our vertex set. And that's going to be E, 30 here. We're only considering 60, 100, and 30. So we add E to our vertex set, and then we need to update the weights for those that aren't in the the vertices that are not in the vertex set. So now that we've included E, that um, gives us the option to to get to C for a cost of um, now 50, so 30 plus 20, which is cheaper than 10 plus 50. It also allows us to update the cost to, to D from 100, which is A to D, to, to 90. Okay, and now we look at, well, what's the cheapest um, path for uh, a vertex that's not in our set? Well, that, that's going to be C. Okay, so now we add in C, and we say, well, we can get to D. Uh, we need to go through all the vertices that aren't in our vertex set. Well, that's D. So we can get to C by 50, so that means we can get to D by 60, okay? Uh, by going A, E, uh, C, and then D, okay? That's it for this video.